Hey guys, it's Scott here. It is the 7th of August, 2024, and uh, my office is being cleaned right now, so I thought it'd be a perfect time to run out and record uh, the daily. I record, obviously, the day after normally because I try to get the events of the day, and it's like maybe as late as 11 o'clock in the morning, and we're getting a morning rain. I actually feel sprinkles, and I can hear some thunder. You can see this beautiful sky going on. Mia is upset because she hates storms, and we can hear thunder in the distance. It's not like well, it could be a pretty big storm here pretty quickly. So this is the beach out here. You can kind of see that already some of the clouds have passed us. It's fantastic though. It's beautiful light. It's nice and quiet because of the cloud cover. And there's just, every so often I get the tiniest drop of water uh, and, and we can hear distant thunder. So we'll see what happens. Um, tomorrow, the 8th, I will be doing a live stream, but this will not probably be up in time for people to take notice if it does make it just in case there will be a live stream tomorrow. That is the plan. Uh, but today, today is uh, Wednesday. And the big thing today, we got up early. Dominica is heading with Saeed to, uh, to Managua because they are going to see a Marvel movie together. They both like Marvel. My kids like Marvel. Paul and I don't like Marvel. So we're like, we could care less. No, we're not going to go watch that. And, uh, and Saeed and Dominica are both super excited. And my kids would like to see it, but it's Deadpool 2. And as Luchana says, it's a highly inappropriate movie and it is not comfortable watching that with your parents. So we totally understand they will get it when it comes out on video. But my wife has wanted to go and, and do something in Managua. So uh, so Saeed came early in the morning, picked her up, swapped cars, so took our car and left his truck here. And they went in, they went in and did shopping uh, and a bunch of stuff. They went and did the Price Mart run, that's of course. But they also went to Super Porta, which is like our import store. But there's a new place that does uh, vegan specialty stuff shipped in from the US. We're getting like Beyond Meat and stuff like that now, which is fantastic. But the prices are crazy because it's got to be purchased in the US, really expensively shipped down here, kept frozen like it's nuts. So we only buy that for the kids. But it exists and they're starting to bring that stuff in. You got to start somewhere. So we're excited that Beyond Meat is available in the country now in Managua. If we lived in Managua, we might eat it a bit more. It's so much effort to go get it that uh, not going to be a regular thing, but that's awesome that it's available. And um, <clears throat> uh, they went to the movies and they went to the China Mall, the new China Mall, uh, and she bought a whole bunch of just little little items because it's like all these things we haven't had easy access to before are now available at the China Mall. So that's what she did. I spent the day just regular work, had good office day, um, got to do a bit of video editing and recording today. That went well. I was happy with the, the productiveness of the day on that front. Uh, Liesl came into my office because we were here, so I was cooking dinner and everything because Dominica was gone all day. And uh, Liesl wanted some help with math, so she came into my office and I had a bag of corn chips of all things and I opened it and I had a few bites and she's like can I have some of those I'm like yeah so I gave her the whole bag because I just wanted a, a taste right barbecue corn chips and she loves barbecue corn chips so she started eating them and after just a few minutes she's like wow I feel like my math is a lot easier and suddenly she's just rocking through math things that she was really struggling with for for years just flying through and so she was still checking things with me. She's like, is this the right answer? I'm like, yeah. Is this the right answer? Yeah. Is this the right answer? Yeah. Like all of a sudden she didn't need help with anything. She just wasn't sure of herself because it's always been a problem. And after a little bit, she's like, I, I think maybe I've been needing a snack. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I, we feel like she may be sugar crashing for who knows how long while trying to do homework. Like something about her pattern is making her not have the food necessary to keep herself able to focus and do things. So she just flew through her, her math, uh, I guess it's a midterm, um, and, and all the, the prep for it, just no problems at all. I mean, there's a few things that she, that she hadn't done when she had food. And she's like, okay, how do I do this? And then once we did it, she's like, oh, yeah. Boom, just flying through stuff. I'm like, who are you? What just happened? So she hung out in my office and did that for a while while I did editing. And uh, in yesterday's video, I mentioned that the computer wasn't working. Today, I got it working. Mass Effect Trilogy Legendary Edition is already downloaded, ready to go. I got that set up, and somewhere around 8 or 9 o'clock, uh, we set up, and Luchana is starting to play that. So I'm really hoping that she decides to stick with that, because it is one of my favorite games of all time. It is absolutely amazing. I love the story, the characters, everything that goes on in it. I love the architecture, the fountains, the walking around. I love... There's... There's little bits, of course, every game. There's going to be lots of things to complain about, but in Matt, wow, this is some loud birds. So, and, but in Mass Effect, I find that the things I, I complain about are like, oh, this little bit's like a little bit boring or like the pacing here isn't exactly what I want, but like the story is so good. Like there's so much awesome in it. And then there's a sequel to the trilogy Andromeda that we haven't completed. And then there's one coming, but it's going to be years away. But Mass Effect 5 is supposedly coming. 
And of course, I'm looking forward to that. And supposedly, there's rumors that it might be a direct sequel to the trilogy, whereas Andromeda was like 600 years later and really a side story. It's still good, but it's not part of like the initial story. But in theory, the new one may be way more connected to the original trilogy and maybe wrap up more of the universe, which would be amazing. So uh, really hoping... Uh, that we get to play that sometime soon, but I'm so excited that, uh, so Liesl and I played some Mass Effect uh, Legendary, but two and a half years ago, which really shows how long we go. It was something we were playing just before the computer died the first time in Labo Rio, and uh, we never got back to it. And and Liesl liked it, but wasn't like really, really into it. And so not enough to draw us back after, after we had been gone for a while. And Luciana was kind of like, I kind of want to try this. And so... So far, there's bits of it that she's not thrilled about, but I think she's liking it, and Lisa and I are really enjoying it. It's a game you really can watch. Like, it's like watching a movie. So we're really enjoying just being able to watch Luchana play, but it's one I've played all the way through, so it's a little bit different because so many of the games are like, I really would struggle with it. This is one I can play, and this is one I understand, and this is one I know, and I've read all the books to go with it as well, and, and Liesl has played it, and she can play it, so in theory, we can hand off controls if we need to, but I'm hoping that Luchana plays it through. It's, it's rare that we have something like this that Luchana is really into, so this is a big deal, and... Uh, uh, I, it was just really fun. So that was our evening up until about midnight. Then we did our connections and stuff. And uh, by about 12.30 or so, uh, headed to bed. So that was our day for the 7th. This is looking like a gorgeous day on the 8th. Uh, the Tomorrow is Social's birthday, but we're not partying until Saturday on the 10th. And... Uh, yeah, that is, uh, that's our day here. If you're seeing this before it's too early on the 8th and you want to go to the Simple Beach Lodge, Larry Emerson is playing again. He's been playing there. This is third Thursday in a row, but I need to do the live stream. So we didn't get any warning on that. So it's just a conflict. I may have to move when I do the live stream. But Thursday seemed like such a good day for that for you guys. So I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow.